friends, how you doing today? I am doing well. And oh, here's, a, here's another installment of uh, movies that need some Blu-ray love. And, and last time I did some horror movies, I got I got some excellent comments, some excellent feedback from you guys. And, and, I, and I, I had to do another one. And I'm going to continue to do these because, listen, the studios need to get on the ball because, listen... We're working. We got money in our pockets. Even if we're not working, we got some people. People be making money somehow, and we want to buy these these Blu-rays or 4Ks. And these are these are our favorites. These these are things that we have been watching for years. And and, and why not? Why can't we get some some Ultra HD Blu-ray beautifulness? Okay, why can't why can't we get something like that? Because because listen. We dished out the money for the VHSs. We dished out the money for the DVDs, and we we will dish out the money for the for the Blu-rays. But but we want some special features. We want some stuff going on. And today I decided to do some horror movies. These are horror movies that I I may be wrong, and if I am wrong, please comment below. Tell me where I can get these things because if I'm wrong about these things and they are released on Blu-ray somewhere and I can get them, then I want to get them because these are some of my favorites of all time. And, and I really think they need some special features and some Blu-ray love. And I'm going to get right to it with you. And, and please, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's get right to it. First first one, is, it's like a back-to-back. -back. Now, this this is... A, you're right. Look, I'm, I'm, Fright Night. Yeah, it's a Blu-ray. I'm showing you a Blu-ray. So you're like, what's your problem? You got a Blu-ray right there in your hand. And the Blu-ray you got here has a bunch of special features. Why, why do you got it in your hand? Well, I know this was also released released by Twilight Time video on Blu-ray. And it was also released by this uh, Eureka company, which is like a foreign region-free thing. I had to resort to this this region-free well, region free mess. That's what I had to do. And, and this isn't that bad. I mean, it, they cleaned it up. It looks okay. But this this is definitely a... It, this is screaming out. Scream Factory, you know the Shout Factory. This this is definitely a a horror Scream Factory release. This is, I know these people. Listen, most of these people in this movie are still alive. You can do some special features, some interviews. I, I'm thinking Sean Clark needs to do some horror hollowed grounds uh, on on the the filming locations of of uh, of Fright Night. This this movie is so good. This this is this was my first ever I think introduction to. To vampire movies. This, this this was the one that like back in the eighties. I put this thing on and I I fell in love with vampires. And this is like the true vampire movie. This is the one the vampire next door and and, and always got me because it's like, damn people are stupid. You know I'll tell you right now, my, my friends. If if somebody is killing some girl or, or a bunch of people and my my next door neighbor is a vampire and he's he's out there killing people. I look out the window and I see him. He sees me or whatever. And I'm gonna be like, and, and he confronts me about it. I'm gonna be like, oh hey listen. You you do you and I do me. They don't kill my family. Don't kill don't kill nobody I know. Don't kill my friends. Help yourself. I, I'll I'll listen. I I am I'm fine. I am fine with some psychotic vampire living next door. I'm fine. You know he seems like a nice enough guy. He seems like the type of guy that maybe might cut my grass at night. You know you'd want to do it during the day because he's a vampire and everything. But he seemed nice enough. You know what I mean if, if if I you know mind your own business. That's a, that's the bottom line. Mind your own business, Mrs. Kravitz. Get out the window. Stop looking at the next door neighbors. Stop watching next door neighbors killing people because it's it's not it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense for people to be, be in your business. You know what I mean? So that's what this movie is about. It's about minding your own business. The bottom line of this movie is your know, vampire killing somebody next door. Mind your own business. You know what I mean? Because I'll tell you, even if the guy, if I, if I locked eyes with the guy and I, I, he saw me and I saw him, I, I'm telling you, I would go over there and later on at night. I'd be like, I knock on the door. I'd be like, I know you're a vampire. And I'm good with it. I'm good. Listen, stay on your side of, of of the neighborhood. Just do do your thing. I don't care. We'll we'll be we'll be fine. Perfectly fine. I'm I'm You think I'm joking? But but I'm not. I, I'm I am so fine with my if my my next door neighbor minds his own business and he does his thing. I, my next door, I don't even know who my next door neighbors are. I don't care what they're doing. I don't even you know because of movies like this. I don't even look out the window. You know, my wife's like I know that one over there. And we'll we'll be like walking around like the Dollar Tree or like Walmart or something. She'll be like. You know who that guy is over there? I'm like, I don't know who that guy is. She's like, that's our next door neighbor. I'm like, because you're 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 nosy, because you're a busybody, because you 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 need to mind your own business. I don't know who that guy is. We've been living next to him for like 20 years. Not my problem. Not my business. I don't care who he is. Listen, he wants to come over, knock on my door, borrow some sugar, I'll give the man some sugar. But killing somebody next door, I'm good with that too. You want you want to kill somebody, you want to bury him in your backyard. As long as, as long as it don't fall over into my property line, the cops will come knocking at my door. I don't care. You know. That's a vampire thing. Vampires do that. I've seen these movies. I know what's going on. And and this is this is a classic 
vampire movie. And this this is just so good. Every actor in this movie is amazing. Roddy McDowell's in this. Roddy McDowell is, is, is the ultimate vampire hunter slash not really a vampire hunter. You know, it, it, he, he created this this awesome role and it's it's amazing. And actors in this amazing. Every single person did a great job. And it's the guy that plays the vampire. I'm I'm, I'm gonna want to throw off his name. Here. I'm gonna mess it up. But that's what I'm not even gonna say. It. You guys know who he is. Um, let me see what it says here. Does it say? Because I know I know it's gonna. Uh, Brewster Ragsdale. Uh, okay, they give me names here. I'm not gonna get it right. Uh, Roddy McDowell. Let me see. William Ragsdale. That's not, Chris Sarandon. Chris Sarandon. The guy that plays Gold. Okay, Vampire Gold. You know, you go kill Chucky. You no, actually leave, leave Chucky alone. But you vampire, you kill whoever you want. Okay, leave Chucky alone. Chucky, Chucky, my friend. I like Chucky. Chucky, a cool guy. But vampire, do what you want to do. Do what you want to eat. You're a vampire. Do what you want. Even your creepy, your creepy friend there that's taking care of the coffin and everything. He's got a job. Hey, who am I to butt into this man's job? He's got a job to do. Leave him alone. But this, this needs some scream factory love. Okay, I'm not even going with another company because maybe, may, may, maybe. Maybe an Arrow, because Arrow's been doing awesome stuff with, like, these box set things. So maybe an Arrow. Uh, maybe even a... And I don't want to give this to Vinegar Syndrome. I, I want to give this to the Scream Factory Arrow. Give me a nice, big, fat, juicy box set like you did with... Uh, uh, what's the one? Uh, Donnie, Donnie Daco or uh, 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 Dune or uh, Tremors. I mean, you could do that with... You could do it with Waterworld. You, you can give me a Fright Night box set. <sighs> that's what I want. That's what, I, that's what we want. I'm not me. I'm talking for everybody. We want Fright Night... Done right. Everybody, chant with me. Fright night. Done, done right, right. Fright, fright, done right. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And you're looking for it too. But that's my that's my first one. And, and to follow it up, damn, Fright Night 2. Why didn't this ever get a Blu-ray period release? I, I just want a Blu-ray release of this thing. This looks stupid on the side of my... Look at this. It don't, don't fit. It don't fit. And that drives me crazy. I'm so thankful that, that they, just, they just took care of my whole needs for... Um, for Candyman, because this was driving me crazy. Listen, as a guy that's OCD, this drives me nuts, okay? I can't stand the... the, the look, it's not working. It, it, look on the shelf. You put it on the shelf. Not working. Okay, so come on. Give this... Uh, and this one isn't even like... This This one This, this one didn't blow me away. This one didn't blow... It's no... no. Listen, it can't even spit on the side of part one. But it, it's got its place in horror history. And this can definitely get a Scream Factory back to back. Hey, maybe a two-pack. Maybe a two-pack. Scream Factory 1, uh, uh, Fright Night 1, Fright Night 2, two-pack. Maybe we can get something like that going. I mean, look at this thing. We, we got a, This is even a full-screen presentation. I can't even get a widescreen presentation in this thing. It's a full-screen presentation. What's going on? I mean, am I looking at this wrong? Maybe it's full-screen and widescreen. Wait a minute, because I don't want to give you guys false information. It says special features, full-screen. But then it says anamorphic widescreen on the box. So maybe it's too... So the special features are full screen. That's my special feature. I don't want no special feature full screen. Nobody wants that. We don't. Most of us don't even have TVs that can that can format a full screen. We don't want that anymore. We want some Blu-ray love for our classics and Fright Night One and Fright Night Two. Ah, oh, come on, do do it. Just do it. You'll see. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Next one. I wasn't gonna go there. I wasn't gonna go there because I didn't want to get all controversial on you. But but I'm going to. Because after being a collector, horror collector that I am, I was forced to go and hunt out this movie because it was so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, so, um, not ornery, what's, um, um, sought after, it was sought after, it was, um, um, uh, what's the word? It's, um, <sighs> notorious. This, this, this is a notorious, it's like, this is like the, the Jesse James of movies, okay? And if you're a horror collector, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's, this was quite the hunt. This was quite the hunt just to get the DVD. But why not a Blu-ray? Why not? This, I'll tell you, this thing is dusty. This is dusty. You could take this thing off, dust it off, clean it up. Yes, some special features. And how about this? Let me, let me throw this out. Let me show you what it is first, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, Clown House. Yeah, and I got and I got the official one. This is the official one. I I researched this and researched this and researched this because there's bootlegs out there, and I was like, I ain't buying no bootleg. I paid like sixty five dollars for this thing because I'm crazy. That's why I bought, I bought it because I'm crazy, and it was notorious. It was a notorious movie that I needed to get for my collection because if you're you are a horror collector, this has to be in your collection because this this is like this is wanted. You know, there's a wanted poster out there. Like this is this this is this is dirty. This is a dirty movie. You know what I mean? It's like. But you gotta have it. You gotta have it if you are a horror collector. And Clown House, we already know what the controversy is with this, with the director and everything like that, the Jeepers Creepers director guy there. And I'm not even gonna get into it. But you know what? We could have some special features with maybe um, 
the story of Clown House, uh, the history of Clown House, um, uh, the, the um, controversy of Clown House. You, you can do so much with special features on this thing. So so come on, Scream, the Scream Factory is calling you. It's calling. Wait, wait. Scream Factory. Scream Factory. Make something out of it. Yeah, that, that's what it sounds like. That's a Clown House sound. Yeah. And I know I know it's got issues. And I know that there's, there's all kinds of bad things that are combined with this. But it's a horror movie, man. Okay, it's a horror movie, and bad things come with horror movies. And and listen, I don't watch movies for the for the whole controversy around it, but I watch some special features on it. I definitely will. I didn't buy this just because of, of the whole, you know, the director himself. I bought it because I needed to. I wanted to see the movie. I wanted to see what the hype was all about. And I watched it. And you know what? I stepped back and I was like, this is this is. This was a good movie. It was good. Yeah, a lot of a couple of unnecessary scenes going on. It was kind of necessary after knowing with the history behind it. When you watch it, you you recognize the unnecessary scenes. But I'm like, and, and listen, I I do not condone the actions that happen behind the scenes in any way, shape, or form ever, 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 ever. Okay, I, that, that's not me. I got I got kids. I ain't, ain't condoning any of that. But but you know what? The movie itself was good. It's a good classic horror movie and if you've ever seen clown house and you're a fan of clown horror movies like i am you know I'm, I'm a fan of clown i'm a fan of clown horror movies period if it has a clown in it it's killing people uh killer clowns from my space it um what's that other weird clown one i got i got, I got a whole there's a, there's a whole slew of clown related killing movies but um those are two of the top popped in my head i had to get this i had to get this as part of my I, I love horror movies that happen in a circus or in a mall or have to do with clowns. I have to do with uh, some horror movies that have to do with uh, animals that, that kill, too. I have uh, ants. Not big animals. Not not like bears or sharks. You know what I mean? I like jaws, but but I like the little animals. I like uh, Tarantula with William Shatner. Or uh, there's a movie called Ants, and it has, I think it's uh, um, uh, the, the, the girl from... Um, uh, Three's Companies in it. Uh, what's her, what's her name? Uh, uh, I want to say Susan something. Is Susan, Susan Summers? Susan, Su Susan Summers? I, anyway, I like that stuff. There's another one. There's another Ants movie too. Uh, I think it's something uh, something Cargo. Um, oh man, I'm gonna draw a blank on this one. But this that one stars the, the kid from uh, Little House on the Prairie. He's he's in it, and it was like uh, uh, something Cargo. It was so ridiculous, but it also had you uh, Howard Hessman in it, and it it was about these uh, tarantulas that end up being imported into the, the the country or whatever by mistake and then they take it over the town but movies like this the clown movies and everything and this could definitely get there's so much you could do with this this screen factory so much so much look i'm talking to you so much you can do with this so much you can do with it dust it off clean it up tell the story tell tell the story and let people make their own choices or what they want to do i know there's controversy behind it but you know there's controversy around a lot of things you know what i mean we still make the movies. Clockwork Orange was uh, controversial when it came out. Still came out. RoboCop was controversial. They, I remember buying a ticket for RoboCop and uh, actually wanted to go see RoboCop. They wouldn't even let me in the theater because they were like, it's so grotesque and whatever. You have to be 17 plus to get out. You're going to be in with a parent. Hey, and I fought to get into that movie. And for, over what? They, they shot the guy's hand off. It was a little graphic, okay? Hey, controversy follows these things. You can do something with Clown House. Okay? You, can do, you can do something with it. Um, next title is... Believe it or not, a Christmas classic. This is a Christmas horror classic for me. And why doesn't it have, why, why doesn't it have Blu-ray love? Why doesn't it? You know, if it does, once again, if it does, please tell me. And tell me where to get them. Because I'm buying them. I'm buying them. I don't care if they're, they're $50. I don't care if they're $100. I'm going to buy any of these titles. Because I love these movies, okay? But I don't want no bootlegs. I don't want no no fake company that dusted off or whatever. And then they try to splice it together with their home computers. I'm not looking for that, that fake stuff. I want a real studio making me some real Blu-rays and 4Ks. That's what I'm looking for. Real stuff, okay? And this next one is, is a Christmas one. Starring Bill Goldberg. Santa's sleigh. This is this is my this is my go to Christmas movie. Yes, this is right next to uh, Krampus and like normal people are watching like uh, uh, Peanuts Christmas Carol or uh, Christmas Carol and uh, Peanuts and stuff like that. I'm watching Santa's sleigh. I'm watching me some Goldberg as Santa Claus and he is he is aggravated. He's mad. He's going to the strip clubs. He's he's kicking off people's heads. I love this movie. I, why didn't it get any Blu-ray love? It doesn't have. It has special features. It has some special features. It's got some widescreen Dolby Digital, whatever. Da, 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 uh, populating casting Santa. So it's got it's got special features. You got some stuff to work with already. You got some stuff to work with already. Take it and put it on a Blu-ray. Why 
isn't this getting some Blu-ray love? Now, the picture quality, I watched this this past Christmas. Picture quality's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I think it deserves more. I think it deserves a new updated cover. Because this cover is kind of, you know. Can you imagine what Screen Factory could do? Where, you know, with their, their uh, what do they call it? When they, they, they hire the guy to do the covers. Uh, they, they, they uh, wow. Uh, consign, consign covers. Consign covers. Nah, I'm probably saying it wrong. Anyway, they always they always make a big deal about the covers. How they do change the cover art and slip cases and everything like that. Why can't they con 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 they commission commission covers? Why can't they commission somebody to make a new Santa sleigh cover and turn this into something really beautiful? This this I bought this thing. Believe it or not, this is um I found this at a uh, a blockbuster video back in the day. I had no idea what this was, and it was I think it was like four ninety nine. And this became one of my Christmas favorites. I know it's a horror movie, but it's a Christmas movie. And, and, and it's festive. It's, a, it's festive for me, and it needs some Blu-ray love. Give it some Blu-ray love. Who's with me? Last one. And this one, man, 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 oh, man. I love this movie. L hands down, as far as horror movies go, um... I mean, forget about Silence of the Lambs. I mean, that's that's a classic. I get it. I get it. It's a classic. But I'd say that that this guy, this this thing, it, it's not too far off. It's not too far off. And why? Quick story, really quick, before I pull this thing out of here. Um, this movie, I saw it. I rented it from, from a blockbuster video. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I, I haunted the guy at the, the counter. Call me. Call me when it goes up for sale. I know it's going to be previously viewed. This was back in the day when you couldn't buy DVDs off the shelf. You know, this is the DVDs were, were uh, very scarce and very hard to get come by, whatever. And actually, I think, I, actually, it was VHS. It was VHS, actually. So the VHS was scarce, hard to come by. I was renting that Blockbuster video, and I was like, when this goes for sale, you got to tell me. It's, this is like one of my favorite movies of all time, and you got to let me have it because I'm a big fan of the actor in it, and I'm a big fan of the movie itself after seeing it. And finally, the guy the guy gave me a call, and he's like, listen, we're selling previously viewed copy. You can come by and buy it. I think he sold it for like 20 bucks. And man, I was so excited and happy. And then it came out on DVD, and I bought it on DVD too. And now it deserves some Blu-ray love. And it is Strangeland starring Dee Schneider. Yeah, Dee Schneider from Twisted Sister. He plays one of the best characters in here. He's like straight out of uh, uh, Science of the Lambs. He's got, he's got that Buffalo Bill thing going on. He's, he's pierced from head to toe, and he's got... He's got tattoos all over the place. And, and man, the storyline behind this movie. I, I fell in love with this horror movie. And I watched it so many times. And it was one of them that was like, it, it, it was, it had a hard coming out. I mean, it didn't, it didn't do very well in the box office. And it, it but, but it's got a cult following. I, I believe it's got a cult following. If there's a cult, I'm joining it and I'm following because this movie is, is good. And... D. Schneider plays the best psychotic, uh, uh, kidnapping, torturing psychopath I, I've seen since Buffalo Bill. I, I think he does a great job in this thing. I mean, I've seen other movies where they, they have like these psychotic characters and everything, but I went in this thing thinking, you know, D. D. Schneider from Twisted Sister, he totally, he totally took it up about 10, 15, 25, 30, 80, 100, 100 notches, okay? His acting style was awesome. The the I, I felt bad for the girls. I felt bad for him. I, this was like a roller coaster of horror happiness, okay? And come on. You can't tell me that that looking at the cover of this thing, you don't see a Scream Factory release for this thing or even an Arrow release for this thing. This is awesome. But you know what? I, I, I can also see a Vinegar Syndrome. I mean, it was, this was released by uh, Artisan Home Entertainment or whatever. And, I mean, look, look at D. Schneider on the back, man. Look look at him. A man, a woman, whoever's watching this thing. Look at him on the back. This this was just a piece of work right here. And and what do you get? What are we getting for special features in this thing? We got a widescreen presentation. That's it. I mean, uh, we got theatrical trailers, production notes, cast and crew. Uh, in, oh, it's got, we got some interviews in it. So you got in a music video. So you got some stuff in here that you could take. And put on a Blu-ray. Can't be that much work, Screen Factory. You got some stuff to work with. Dust it off, clean it up, put it on a, a put it in a smaller cover, in a Blu-ray cover, and give me some commission art. 
the artwork or whatever of D. Schneider like ripping somebody's head off or something like that, and I'd be a happy little boy. You make, you make me so happy, and I and I and I'll pay you thirty five dollars or whatever it is you're looking for because I know Screen Factory is a little bit expensive. And I'm not I, I I usually don't count on spending any less than thirty bucks for a a uh, Screen Factory title. That's this is the fact that the, not the ones that they make themselves, but the the ones that they they bring back. So if they're gonna bring this back. I can expect to pay 30 bucks. I can expect to pay it. Um, this thing actually was pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure it comes with a comic book inside. It's kind of feeling a little bit heavy. I, I should I should, I should, crack it open. Everything I got is in plastic because, listen, that's how much I love my collection here. Is enough for me to put everything in plastic. And if I remember correctly, this yeah, see, look. This thing came with this cool little comic book thing. Let me see if it makes sure it doesn't have anything inappropriate here. Yeah, it's like a little comic book thing. That it came with, you know what I mean. So they they kind of they kind of did it up a little bit as far as DVDs go. So obviously somebody wanted to give this. I mean we got the uh, we got the little book thing inside there. So somebody wanted to give this thing a little bit of love. Listen, bring it back. Give us give it some love. Give us some some Blu-ray love. That's, that's that's what I'm asking for. You know that's I, I'm pretty sure that's what we're all asking for for these things. And um, if you agree, do me a favor. Uh, comment below. But strange land is a classic to me it's a classic and i I'll, I'll be honest with you for me to find these movies that needed to be upgraded to blu-ray i gotta tell you um they've been doing a good job with the horrors the horrors they've been doing a good job finding the classics and and revamping them and and, and turning them up and giving them some blu-ray love so i had to dig a little bit to find me some horror movies that i'm like yeah this this needs some blu-ray love there's a lot of other old old stuff that i could pull out but these are the ones right now that i that i want to talk about now listen I know the studios probably ain't watch me, but if you know somebody from the studios, if you know how to contact these people, you know what to do to get get in touch with these people. Tell them that these movies, you love them, you love them, you grew up with them, and they need some Blu-ray love because these these movies are memories, my friends, and we need to cherish these things. We need to protect them. I tell you, you take care of your kids, right? You you know, as they get older, you buy them new clothes, you you dress them up a little bit, you make them look a little bit better. Blu-ray, DVD, DVD to Blu-ray. VHS to DVD to Blu-ray, you know, you know, talk about as as you, you get older, you progress, you, you know, do it up. You want to do it up. And and with that said, my friends, thank you so much for watching this. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you later.